So today we'll be continuing our series in the book of Psalms, and this is our 12th message in that. We've just been kind of picking up different Psalms and looking at them. We'll look at Psalm 82. Kyo wa shihen hachiju nihen o mimas. So kore wa shihen shiris no dai ju ni to narimasu kere demo. Mo achikochi shihen kara pick up shite iroiro shino mitimas. So, この詩編は分かりにくいところがあれば、分かりやすいところもあります。問題点のことも少し話しますでも、一番大事なのは、この詩編の思うのメッセージ、弱い人、貧しい人を大事にするメッセージなんです。Today we're going to look at some difficult verses in this psalm and talk about some of the problems there. But we'll also look and see that the main message of the psalm for us is very easy to understand. About taking care of the poor and the needy. Let's begin. First, this psalm falls into the five book structure of psalms, right in the middle in the worship section. So, before we get into the psalm itself, I want to look at a few verses from John chapter 10, starting at verse 30. So, Kore wa shiesu wa yudai jin tachi ni o hanashi natte, iroi ru hito wa kare o hinan shite, mo odoshite iru tokoro ga arimashita. So here, Jesus is sharing with some of the Jewish people here in uh, John 10, and in fact, they have just begun to threaten him. It was, he says, I and the Father are one. And again, the Jews picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many great miracles from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any of these, replied the Jews, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. そして聖書が and Jesus answered them and said, Is it not written in your law, I have said you are gods? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said I am God's son? そして、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さて、さ
all the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said you are gods, you are all sons of the Most High, but you will die like mere men, you will fall like every other ruler. Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. Nihongo de Sanka asafu no shi Kami wa shinsei na kaigi no naka ni tachi Kami gama no aide de sabaki o oku no wariru Itsumari anata tachi wa fusei ni sabaki Kami ni sakarao mono no mikata o suru no ka Jaksha ya koji no tame ni sabaki o oku nai Kurushimu hito, toboshi hito no ただしそう認めよう。弱い人、貧しい人を救い、神に逆らう者の手から助け出せ。彼では素人せず、理解もせず、闇の中を行き来する。地の元へは言葉と揺るぐ。私はいたあなたたちは神々なのか。みんな人と書き方の心なのかと。しかし、あなたたちも人間として死ぬ。君子のように一斉に没落するよ。神を立ち上がり、血を捌いてください。あなたは全ての民を修行とされるでしょう。はい。そこでは、その書き出し。but here's the beginning of the psalm, that first part where it says a psalm of Asaph. Well, this is one of 12 psalms of Asaph that we have there in the book of Psalms. And this is 82, of course. Now, who was Asaph? Well, Asaph is, is a worship leader at the temple under King David. And, uh, well, before the temple was built, he's a worship leader under David. And then he's at the dedication of the temple under King Solomon. And he and then his descendants after him continue in service as uh, worship leaders and worship members at the temple. Sanka Asafu no Shi. So, Kari wa Asafu no Juni Shi Hen no Hitotsu de Ate. Asafu wa Dari deska to you to, wa Kari wa mo David o no Jidai ni, mo Sambi cho to natte. そしてその後ソロモンの時代に神殿が出てた時に神殿での賛美帳と彼の子孫その後もこの賛美の星をずっと続いていましたもう歴代史上 and he's the son of Barakai, it tells us in 1 Chronicles 15, 17. And the continuation of his, of his descendants in the temple worship, Ezra talks about in chapter 3, verse 10. Uh, and many other verses also speak about Asaph. So, Here's the psalm, Shien wa kokunyarimas. He says, God presides in the great assembly, he gives judgment among the gods. Kami wa shinsei na kaigi no naki ni tachi, kami gami no aide sabakyo oku no wariru. Well, here it says the gods, but who are these gods that God is in the great assembly with? You know, we've got the true God, the God, the creator, Father God, but who are these others? そう、ここでは、もう、もちろん、最初の神は、もう父なる神様、想像主を指していますけれども、この後、その会議の中に立ち、神様は、会議、神々の間で裁きを行う。この神々は、誰ですかどのものですかそれはちょっと問題点となります
あるところはもう本当の神様を指しているし、神聖者いろいろ偽りの神々も天使を裁判人、偉大な人もこの言葉でエロヒムと言われていますね。So this word gods that's translated as gods here in the original Hebrew it's Elohim, which is a meaning of a, a word of very wide meaning in the Old Testament. Uh, in some places, it's translated as God, the true God. In other places, just divine being or false gods or angels or kings or judges or just the mighty. So it's a word of very wide meaning.、Uh, but here, God is standing in the great assembly and giving judgment among these gods. Well, I tried to figure out exactly who these guards are. I checked for various sources. <laughs>、uh, this is the Japanese study Bible for the Shin Kyodo Yaku Bible, the new interconfessional translation, I guess is the English name. And this is what it says it says, The court of heaven is depicted here, and the gods are probably the gods worshipped by other nations. Still, the word translated gods is also sometimes used to refer to angels and human rulers. See Job 1, 6, and 7. So, これはもう新教導訳の聖書 study, by, study 版ですけれども、uh, 82辺一節のところを見たらこの仲介があります。ここでは天の法廷が描かれており、神々とは他の国々が礼拝していた神々ということであろう。しかし、神々と訳された言葉は、天使や人間の支配を指して、救われることもある。三章、呼ぶ、一章、六節、七節。え、他の神々あると思うかもしれません。ご心配しないでください。覚えてください。詩篇は詩的のものですので、この詩篇を書く人は自由にいろいろイメージを使っている。So, その意味は、他の国が礼拝する偽りの神々だと言っても、それはその神々は本当に存在する意味にならないですね。ただ、この詩的のイメージとして救われている可能性があるんですね。So, some people may look at this and say, What other gods? Are there really other gods? But please don't worry.、Uh, remember, the Psalms are very poetic, and sometimes psalmists will use something that isn't real just for the image、uh, to convey some other message. So, even if this study Bible has the meaning that was intended by the psalmist, it doesn't mean those gods actually exist. It could just be a poetic image that he's using to convey his idea. But other sources have other ideas about what this could mean. でも他のところを見て、この意味に対していろいろ考え方がありますね。例えば、これは聖書新海訳のスタディバイブみたいなものですね。これは中海作品チェーン式印象が続いて入っているものですけど、これを使って開いてみたら、82編一節にこのメモがあります。神の法廷を描く。神の会議。見つかいの群れであろう。So, この聖書、スタディバイブは、もう他の国々の神々じゃなくて、見つかいの群れですよと語っています。So, this study Bible、uh, says it depicts the court of God, the congregation of God, probably. A group of angels. So this one says, no, not gods of other nations, just a bunch of angels that are gathered here. So we begin to get various opinions about what these、uh, gods are in verse 82 1 in Psalms. Well, let's look at some English resources. So, Ego no mono wo mimashou. Kore wa yu wa yuru, the pulpit commentary. Totomo yu mei no mono desu. 私は持っていますからこれを弾いてみました。This is the pulpit commentary, a very famous commentary, and I, I have it, so I looked at it. And it says the gods are angels, but the ones being judged in the psalm are Israel's unjust 
judges. In other words, the image here that the pulpit is saying is that God is standing amongst the angels, but the ones he's judging are not those angels, it's Israel's unjust judges. So that's a different idea, is separating the people God is standing among with the people being judged into two different groups. So, この、uh, pulpit の仲介書を見たら、神々というのは天使ですが、裁かれるのはイスラエルの封筒の裁判人です。そこれはもう二つのグループがあると考えて、神様はその天使たちの間にお立ちになり、でも、裁いているのはそこにいる天使たちじゃなくて、イスラエルの裁判人とあります。いろいろ弾いてみると、意見は様々です。この表を見たら、このような考え方もあります。イスラエルの裁判人、奉行、天使。天使よりも偉大な性質の申請者。君主と裁判人、天使、裁判人。そういろいろ意見があるんですね。あ調べてみたら、これは全部、割によく知られている聖書学者と牧師たちのことです。So if we look at a bunch of other Bible scholars and pastors, we get ideas like they're the Israelite judges, they're magistrates, they're angels, they're divine beings of a greater nature than angels. Sounds like he's trying to avoid seeing other gods. Rulers and judges, angels, judges.、Uh, the last one, David Guzik, is a Calvary Chapel teacher. Uh, and he says that they are just judges. So, the second one is David Guzik, who is a Kabari Chapel of the Sensei. He is a Kabari Chapel of the Sensei. So, how do you think about the people who are in the Sensei? What do you think about the people who are in the s e n s why is it that many interpreters think these are angels? What, what's the idea there? Well, they go over here to Daniel 10 13 and they read this. Daniel 10章13節にこれがあることもあさよくさされていますね。ペルジャ王国の天使長が21日間私に抵抗したが、大天使長の一人ミカエルが助けに来てくれたので、私はペルシャの王たちのところにいる必要がなくなった。But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now, the one who's speaking is an angel on a mission. テンシチョウが抵抗したなのは、他のテンシまた悪霊だとよく解釈されています。So the one opposing him, the prince of the Persian kingdom here, is usually interpreted as being an angel or a demon who's opposing this mission of this particular angel. Now, from here, it says of the Persian kingdom, This is where a lot of people begin to get the idea that there are evil spirits that rule over the nations. And they look at this and say, well, there's some,、uh, maybe a demon who's kind of ruling over Persia, who's the power behind the kings of Persia.、Uh, so that idea comes out of the territorial spirits, is sometimes the word that's used. So, これを見たら、これはペルシャ王国の天使長とありますね。So, このような考え方が出ています。国々を支配する悪霊がいると思うことですね。いろいろ人の間にこの教えが人気になっています。So, これはペルシャ王国の天使長、あもう堕落した天使長、実は、その王の裏に行って、本当の力を持って、王を、あもう移動、させていますね。そう、その考え方ですね。そう、まあ、いろいろ見てきました。それで、これらの神々は誰ですかというと、私はよくわかりません。<笑>たまに、それは<笑>最後のことになります。私はよくわかりません。
They say, who are these gods? Well, I don't know for sure. Sometimes that's what we get. We just don't know for sure. Because there's a lot of different opinions. Idoido ikin ga aru desu. Demo watashi wa mo yoko wakaru nai desu ne. Shikashi, kore wo yamete oku mai ni mo skoshi mitai to omoimasu. But before we give up on this, let's look at something else. Back in the passage in John 10 that we read in verse 34, uh, we saw that after he says, I said you're gods, he, Jesus says, if he called them gods to whom the word of God came. Well, this to whom the word of God came part, uh, that seems to indicate that it's Israel and the judges of Israel because they are the ones who received the word of God in that time, all the way back to uh, through Abraham and then Moses, you know, they received the word of God. So this is the time of David, we presume that the psalm was written in. So that would have to be people in Israel then, if we go and look at what Jesus says. So, so the で、もう、シエスが語りになったところ、私は言うなと立場神々であると書いてあるではないか。その後シエスは続いて、神の言葉を受け入れて人たちが神々と言われていると特節の印象であって、それでその神々はもうあイスラエルの人を指していると考えられます。それはその人たちはモーセ、アブラハムとして神様から教えていただいています。しかし実はここに引用されているのは6節ですね。1節ではないです。それもちょっと考えないといけない
So clearly this is being said to, to, to someone of, of power, you know, a judge or someone who has power to do things. But it also has a teaching for us because all of us have our own uh, sphere of influence, our own area that we can influence. So we all have the opportunity to take care of the weak, to take care of the poor. Shikashi, これはもう裁判のようなものに語られてことばだと言っても私たちもみんな自分の持っている範囲で自分ができる責任のところでまず死人と物語る人を大事にする機会はよくあります。4節弱い人まず死人を救い神に逆らう者の手から助け出せ そこではサンセットとほぼ同じようなメッセージですけれども別の言葉で言い換えて同じことを繰り返して言うことはもうヘブライ語の死のいつも出てくる特徴の一つです。Rescue the weak and needy, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. So this is more or less the same meaning in, in verse 3 in the previous verse. It's just said in a different way putting a different emphasis, maybe a little bit on it. This is a regular feature of Hebrew poetry, as we've seen, uh, to repeat some important thing and, and just rephrase it into different words to emphasize it. They know nothing, they understand nothing, they walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Kare wa shiroto sezu, likai sezu, yami no naka o ikiki suru. This is a quite, quite a verse here. There's a lot in here. Uh, but basically it's saying that the unjust the, uh, ignore their duty. The ones who are doing the judgment here wrongly, they ignore their duty and they forget that they also are going to face judgment. So, Futo no mono wa jibun no gimu o mushishi so in that sense, they're, they're walking in the darkness. They don't understand anything. And then we have this verse, you know, the foundations of the earth are shaken. And we might first imagine something like a big earthquake. But this is poetic, and an earthquake doesn't fit the context. So I think really it's just saying that this... Uh, unjust judgment, these, these people, what they're doing is undermining all of society and endangering everyone, and they're just putting it in a poetic sense. So, して最後に、地の元へはことごと揺らぐとあります。で、最初は何か大地震の想像するかもしれませんけれども、文脈を見たら、地震について何もないですから、これは死的に別の意味を語っていると考えられます。つまりこの封筒の裁判のこととか、これはもう司会全体的に身の危機にさらす行動だと意味となるでしょう。つまりこの地の元へはもう文字通りの地の元へじゃな、司会の土台が揺らぐと
。新解約はもっと文字通りですね。私は言った、お前たちは神々だ。お前たちはみんな言った書き方のこれだ。とあります。そう、こんなところも、その、神々と訳されたところは、ヘブライ語でエルヒムですね。So also here,、uh, the gods translate as gods here. The original Hebrew word is Elohim, just as it was in verse 1. So, それは一節と同じ言語の言葉ですけれども、uh, 同じことを指しているかどうかは別の話ですね。So the word is the same, but whether it is used in the same sense, meaning the same Uh, people or angels or whatever is not so clear here. So, none of it. But you will die like mere men, you will fall like every other ruler.、Uh, verse 7. しかしあなたたちも人間として死ぬ。君、uh, のように一斉に没落する。So, この聖句は一部の解釈書はこの詩篇が人間の裁判に関するものではないと。考えている理由の一つですね。人間だったら人間として死ぬことは当たり前です。言う必要はないものです。しかし、天使だったらかなり厳しい裁きとなりますね。その考え方も解釈もありますね。So it says you'll die like men, but you will die like men, you will fall like every other ruler. Well, this is one of the places where some interpreters think this psalm can't be talking about human judges. And why they think that is because if it's speaking of men, then of course they'll die like men. This is not much of a judgment. It's obvious that they'll die like men if they are men. But if it's spoken to the angels who are somehow、uh, have a responsibility, then it would be a very severe judgment that God is pronouncing here. So, That's one of the reasons there's a difference of opinion in、uh, what the psalm is referring to. Hasets. Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. Kami o tachi agari, chi o subaiti kudasai, anato wa subeta no tami o shigyo sareru disho. So, this is a, a prayer for God to provide the fair judgment that others have not provided. And possibly also a prophecy of Jesus' second coming, where it says, The nations are your inheritance. So, Kare wa kami ga, hoku no mono ga kure na kata, kose na sabaki o kure saru yo ni oinori. Osoraku yesu no saiden no yogin de mo arimas ne. So, Kare wa saigo ni, shi yesu wa subete no kuni guni, o shi hai suru toyu yogin des ne, saiden no toki. So, この聖句はもうこの詩篇の結び、最後の言葉となります。So, this of course is the end of the psalm. It's speaking of all the nations, and of course we know that when Jesus comes again,、uh, he will judge over all the nations, he will rule over all the nations. シエスの再臨の時にシエスはもうすべての国々の人々を裁いて、そして支配すると。予言に他の聖書の箇所からでもわかります。So, 私たちのためにこの詩編82編の中の一番大事な要点をもう一回見たいと思います。Let's take one more look at the part that maybe is most important to us before we close、uh, in this Psalm 82. And that's in verses 3 and 4, and we can apply this in our own lives. これはもう自分の生活の中に適用できることですね。自分が持っている責任のところ、自分の周りのある人々のため。And、uh, for the people around us or whatever our responsibilities might be, defend the cause of the weak and fatherless, maintain the rights of the poor and oppressed, rescue the weak and needy, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. So, take care. Of those people that you can, the, the poor, the suffering,、uh, those who have trouble, help them when you can. Jaksha ya koji no tamini sabaki o okonai. Kurushimu hito, toboshi hito no tarashiso mitome yo. Yoai hito, mazushi hito, tsukui. Kami ni sakarao mono no te kara taske dase. Tsumari. Goji bun ga de kiri tokoro ni. 周りの人、特に弱い人、貧しい人を
助けて守るように。最後に、この三句書、六章、八節を見たいと思います。So in closing, I want to look at Micah 6:8. He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Hito yo nani ga zen de ari. Shuga nani o mai ni motomete o rariru ka wa o mai ni tsugirarete iru. Seigi o okonai. Itsukushimi o aishi herikudate kami to tomo ni aimu koto. Kori de aru. Amen. O inori shimashou. Let's pray, and this time I'll pray in Japanese. Yes, Krishna, Chichinaru Kami Sama. Anatova Svete o Sozo Ste, Inochi o Taite Kurisai Mashta. Mata Watashta Chino Skui no Tamani, Shiesu o Ikashte Kurisate. Shiesu wa Watashta Chino Tamani, Jujika Jode, Shinde Kurisai Mashta. この素晴らしい救いを感謝します。私たちはシエスの見業を信じて、シエスの復活も覚え、家の命をいただくことになります。今日学んだことは、この詩編で、もう分かりにくいところもありましたけれども、大物教えは明らかです。私たちをお導きください。必要を備えてください。自分のためだけじゃなくて、でも周りの人、年人のために、私たちができるところで、その人を大事にして、貧しい人々に必要を与え、困っている人々に慰めと助けを与えて、苦しんでいる人々に、そのできるところで癒し、祈りを与えるように。私たちが毎日あいろいろおかしいことしてしまって罪を犯しますけれども、あなたの恵みと憐れみは毎朝新た,新たに与えてあ下てくださると信じています。感謝です。私たちがあなたと共に歩むことができるように支えて導いてください。シエスの尊い皆によってお祈りします。アーメン。